All right, guys. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the show. I'm Joe, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mongolitsa pig. Now, you guys probably know we have been harping on the Mongolitsa pig for forever. You know, Mongolitsa this, Mongolitsa that. But what actually makes the Mongolitsa so great? Today we're with Mark Baker, and he's going to be telling us exactly why he loves that pig. And uh, we're also going to be doing some pig castration. So it's not bloody or anything, but it, if you don't want to watch it, I totally get it. Skip to this point right here in the video um, if you don't want to see that. But barring that, let's get into this video. This is the A1 Can Farm Experience. <laughs> We're gonna go get started on some pig stuff, but look at this girl. This is a new female. Chloe. She's gonna take Claire's place. Claire's injury from when she got run over is sort of making it hard for her to have puppies. Chloe's gonna take up the slack. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her, Chloe. Go get her. Well, today is going to be a uh, pig sorting day. So we're going to be <clears throat> moving some of the little pigs away from their moms. Forgive me, I'm walking on glare ice, glare ice right now. <clears throat> and uh, I got to sort a couple out to bring to a customer tomorrow over in the great state of Wisconsin and then we have to castrate a few that will be leaving here on Sunday that uh, need to be feeder pigs so this can be a task you know to get this done reason being these pigs are about 35 pounds and if you have to go out there and catch them, it, you know, it can be pretty hard, especially on 60 year old guys. All the little pigs, we put feed in here for them. They came in in about two seconds and then we dropped the gate on them. So come on over here and look at this. The boys already have the pigs totally corralled up. If you're interested in seeing how this corral system works, go ahead, click right here. We have a video explaining exactly how we do it and how well it works. These guys are, ready to go. I got to pick a nice boar out of here for one of our customers. We have one other little uh, deadly weapon here. It's boys, right? So I'll <laughs> get the boys to go in here and, you know, hand them out to me and then I'll look them over and see which one is, uh, is going to be the best, the best guy for the, for the trip. How many years of pig catching do you have under your belt? A couple. couple? All right. Guide him in. <laughs> Get him, Jimmy! Get him, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> You know, this pig is, he doesn't seem too distressed. He just doesn't like He's being held, but. He's chilling. What's so great about the Mongolitsa? And the first thing you had on the list was um, what they can eat. Yeah, uh, they they do really well on just about anything. See these, these are sugar beets, and I got a good deal on them. I got, I don't know, like 20 tons of them for about 500 bucks, so I got them, and, they're gonna last us well into the summertime. Let's take the old shovel and there you go. Uh, we feed them everything from junk bread like this, just regular junk bread, 
We give them hay, chicken feet, heads and guts, um, any kind of fruit they, they go after, any kind of uh, leftover things from the, from the house, from the garden. They'll turn it into top quality pork and, uh, and fat. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Another good thing about them is <clears throat> in the winter time, they're a really easy keeper. So it's, it's very cold out right now. And the only thing that they have is just this little hut over here that they can get in and it stays dry. But it's not heated and they don't, they don't need that. Um, so long as we give them a little bit of bedding in there, they're fine. They do just fine. They're not stressed at all. Super durable pig. Super durable pig. And if I go in there with them, well here they come now, they're friendly. You know, so long as they know that I'm the bringer of food, uh, they have a pretty good temperament with me. I really don't want them so that they're going to be super friendly, like rubbing up against me and things like that. I would just, because then if I have to do anything in here and you have 30 of them, you know, on you, it makes it difficult. So it's kind of good that they move away from me, but they're never nasty and, uh, and biting. Most important part of the mangalitsa is the quality of the meat and the fat. Uh, the super easy to take care of, but then when we get them into the butcher shop, the carcasses are outstanding. Snow white fat that just glistens down the back of your throat. It's really nice. And then they're a red meated pig, so they're the meat is, is dark red, and it's kind of got a woody flavor to it that's just top of the line. That's what we like about them. All right, there we go, guys. I hope we could explain a couple of things about why we love the Mongolitsa pig and why we've been using it for so long. If you're interested in at all the castration part that you saw today, there is a link to a video course down in the description. Go check that out if you're interested. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. It helps out with the algorithms and we put a lot of work in this and we want to reach as many people as possible, so we appreciate your support. If you're considering raising pigs, go ahead and click this video right here that details how we keep our pigs in. You don't want your pigs running across the countryside, and we will see you in the next one.